I think it's actually a lot of fun. It's also my first time generally in events in the Philippines. And I really like just going to international events to experience uh, spending time with different communities in different countries. So, so far, it feels like home. Yes. Yes, it feels like home. It's actually quite similar to Vietnamese events. So it feels, it feels very comfy, feel very happy. See, the thing is, <laughs> I have so far just been at the booth. I've been trying to walk around like after my work has ended. But then when I walk around, there's like no one. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sad. But as I've like walking, have been walking like back and forth and whatnot for breaks. So uh, basically, as I've been going back and forth from uh, the break room and whatnot, I think a lot of people put a lot, a lot of effort into their costumes. And I'm very amazed. I'm walking by, I'm like, wow. This, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. I admire silently from afar, from my booth. I was like, yeah, that's, that's cool. <laughs> Next year, perhaps you will be. Maybe. There is something to look forward to. Maybe. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, generally, I just like going to events. I think it's a big part of why I'm cosplaying in general. I really like spending time with the community. Yes, so. Of course. Anyway, uh, okay, to start from the beginning, I do think that cosplay is not a cheap hobby. It is quite an expensive hobby. So I personally would tell you to do it when you are financially independent, um, at least. But I think cosplaying is just, it's become more practical. It's become more common now than it has been before. And the community is growing more and more. And I'm honestly thinking that everything is becoming a lot more welcoming and a lot more available, be it buying or making your costumes. So just take the first step, do a character that you really like, and improve from there. I think that's, you just have to start from somewhere. That's all that matters. Spring Trap, Five Nights at Freddy's. There was, there was one giant cosplay with like the mechanics and the eyes were glowing. I walked by, I was like, am I hallucinating? Or am I seeing this in real life? It was so well done, I loved it so much. Yeah, that cosplayer particularly. I didn't, even have, I didn't even have time to ask for a photo yet, so I'm regretting that very much. I'm like looking at my text, I'm like, hello, does anyone know who this best player is? Can, can I get some? <laughs> yeah! Oh, you know him! Yeah. Can I get an information, please? <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, from what I've seen, everyone is very detailed and very meticulous. And... A lot of effort goes into all of the cosplays. Even from the simple ones, you can see the small, small details that everyone has been putting effort into. The same goes for makeup and wig styling. I've seen a lot of impressive cosplays here. Oh, so from what I've seen, from what I've experienced so far, I think that the cosplay community in the Philippines is generally expanding very quickly. And I think that it's been one of the main cosplay communities before for Vietnam, we just started growing, like maybe a couple years ago, but it's been established in the Philippines. Like I, when I first started cosplaying, I was looking up to many cosplayers who were Filipino and I was like, oh my God. So technically for us, I think we still have a lot of, uh, a lot of room for improvement for Vietnam particularly. And as I've been attending more international events, I've been thinking, about, I was like, wow, okay. So this is what it's supposed to be like, especially the bigger events. And for uh, Filipino events, I think everything has been so far okay, from what I can tell. I don't think there is any room for criticism for me yet. There's so far, I've, I've been enjoying it. So far, I'm like, okay, this, everything has been so much fun. What local food I've tried? I've tried the grilled pork. It was so good. Oh my god. We, it was the first day that we got here. We tried the pork that was like grilled with the very crispy skin. Yeah, it was the first day we got here and I had this like very tight fitting cosplay for Saturday and I, I was eating and as I was eating I was like worried. I was like, oh, will I fit tomorrow? I was like, <laughs> eating and stressing and then eating more. I was like, it was so good. And then we had the uh, mango with the sauce, with shrimp paste sauce and everything yesterday and it, it was beautiful. I think I'm going to buy it home. It was an experience. The more I had it, the more I wanted to eat it. I was like, oh my god, okay. Keep me here. <laughs> I actually started doing cosplay when I was quite young. It was, let's see, I, I was saving up like breakfast money for that stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, I did it since I was in middle school, like the end of middle school till now I'm in university. And I'd say it's actually quite fun. 
I've met a lot of people with common interests. Otherwise, I would not have made friends. That even at school and whatnot, I think it's like a door of opportunities. Except for the sleep deprivation. Everything's great. <laughs> oh, so if you are considering being a professional at cosplaying, you have to decide for yourself whether which direction you're going to take, whether it be more of social media, more of photography, which, which is something that you're focusing on particularly, whether it be competition or guesting and whatnot. So for each, I guess, their own, there's different things that you have to focus on, whether it be competitions, whether it be guesting, whether it be just, you know, enjoying the process, just cosplaying. So I think a lot of it comes from experience and as well as networking. Yes, so go to a lot of events, make a lot of memories, and you'll just be paid for the hard work that you work for. See, I will always tell people, go to school. <laughs> I fully, completely support going to school. No, um, if you are not in a position right now to cosplay, don't stress yourself out for it. Cosplay will not go anywhere. You can do it when you are more comfortable with your time, with your mental health, with everything that's going on, even your financial situation. Don't feel the need that you have to do it like right now. You have to like chase after others. You have to keep up. It's really not that serious. <laughs> Yeah, so I always think that you should focus on your education first. As I've said before, so it's basically just take your time. Don't, don't rush into things. Take your time. Uh, do characters that you really like at first. Because first cosplays, most of the time, they're not really as good as you'd want them to be. So there's always a lot of room for improvement. And you have to really like a character to constantly be working on the character. I think that's really important. Your mental health and your mental state about cosplay is really important. Yes. Okay. It's my pleasure. Thank you.